Hi everyone, it's Kyle here. Today I'm going to do a movie review of Extinction, a Netflix original movie. And it's about Peter, an engineer, played by Michael Pina. And he has recurring nightmares in which he and everyone you know will suffer through violent alien invasion like confrontations with an unknown enemy. This causes him to have a strange relationship with his wife, Alice, and his daughters, Hannah and Lucy. He reluctantly visits the clinic to receive psychiatric help, only to find a patient there who has revealed that he has been having the same visions. And Sykes would suppress these visions. This prompts Peter to believe his visions are of an uh, incoming invasion. And that same night, fading spaceships open fire on the city, causing significant damage. Peter and Alice barricade their apartment. Amongst the sounds of slaughter from the ground troops, an armored alien soldier breaks through the barricade and finds Lucy hiding under her table. The soldier pauses to examine the girl, which allows Peter and Alice to immobilize the soldier. Peter, now armed with the soldier's weapon, hits his fam leads his family out of the building. Well, let's see, see here. Uh... Based on his visions, Peter and his family agree to seek shelter at the factory where Peter works. He is able to bypass the rifle's biometric authentication, kill soldiers guarding the apartment building's exit. They make their way out to a tenant tunnel at entrance to safety, travel to the factory. Not, but not before Alice is injured from a bomb blast. As a group, a soldier from the apartment appears having tracked them with a homing signal on the rifle Peter took. To Peter's shock, the soldier moves his helmet and it appears human. Peter forces the soldier to carry Alice to the factory. There, his boss, David, explains that the invasion had been expected for many years. A medic examines Alice but informs Peter that he cannot save her. As David's men drag the main soldier off to execute him, he yells to Peter that he can save Alice. Peter agrees to save the soldier to save Alice. David will evacuate their children to the subway station where a transport train waits to take them off to an off-site base. Uh, um, soldier surprises Peter by revealing that Alice is a synthetic AI. To save Alice, he needs an ultimate source of power. Peter himself is at the soldier's guidance. Peter cuts open his own chest with a pocket knife. From that, he all sends it back. We'll stop right there. That's kind of weird. I had no idea they were both ro they were robots, so that's kind of more interesting than the story. Uh, so I guess they could have been robotic aliens, for all I know. I don't know. All right, now it says the soldier connects the cable between the two Simtex, and Peter passes out. Spirit him in detail that what he had fought with visions of the future, but are actually memories of past war. Fearing that the android workers' synthetics might rise against humans, the military attacked unarmed synthetics. Synthetics fought, fought back and eventually drove all the humans off the planet. Peter and Alice met their, met their intention. And while fighting humans, they found Hannah and Lucy, who are also synthetics. 
they will deal with them and prevent themselves from living fear of appraisal of humans. Most synthetics, including Peter and family, wipe their memories and live as humans unaware of their nature of history. Peter then wakes up and soldier Miles explains that the humans have been living on Mars for 50 years. He expected the Simps to be monsters, not families with children. After getting a good look at Lucy on her table, he decided that he couldn't kill anyone. Peter and Alice parked amicably with Miles to find their daughters as the humans breached the door for the building. As they depart on the train, Peter explains that the handful of synthetics kept their memories to stay prepared for never will return of the humans. Peter suggests that someday there could be peace between humans and synthetics. Well this definitely uh reminds me a lot of Terminator. Terminator and probably Zombie Land or Zombie Land type thing type movie. So yeah. Definitely an interesting movie. Like probably like Independence Day meets Terminator 2, etc. Terminator 1 meets Zombieland meets uh, iRobot, etc. But yeah, definitely a combination of those films. Very uh, unique movie. So I have to give this a ton of 10 for its originality. Like, it's definitely a different. Definitely uh, one of the kind movie of this kind. But yeah, definitely a ton of ten. So then what do you think? Does this movie sound interesting to you? Yes or no? Why or why not? And stay tuned for more movie reviews. Bye now.